All right, we'll go ahead and get started. A couple of reminders uh, before we start interviewing. Uh, please make sure to silence your cell phones. Uh, in this room, no phone video, flash photography, or video cameras are allowed. Uh, if you media want to access the press conference video at the end or after this, you can do so at the digital NCAA digital workroom. So tonight we have uh, for Holy Cross, Kenley McCarn and Coach, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. Kara McCormick. Sorry. And Coach Maureen Maggerty. We'll start off with a opening statement from Coach, and then we'll take questions for Kara. Go ahead, Coach. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the first word that comes to my head. Um, just an incredible performance, you know, led by our seniors, which they've led us all year long. Um, just Kara just came out, and, and we talked about it for the last couple of days. We just, this group is so special, and they love each other so much. We just didn't want it to end. You know, we didn't want it to be our last practice. We didn't want it to be our last shoot around. We didn't want it to be our last game. So, you know, obviously just all the credit goes to, to these players that, you know, every single day they just, they just love each other so much and want to win for each other. Um, you know, and, and we shot the ball really well, but defensively I thought we really stuck to a great game plan. My staff did an, another incredible job of coming up with a, an amazing game plan. Um, you know, and, and UT Martin is a really good team, you know, and we caught them today. Obviously we shot the ball extremely well, caught them on a tough shooting night, um, you know, and, and they're young. They're going to be back, you know. They're just a really, really good team, and they've obviously had to deal with a lot of injuries, and um, we're, we're really lucky that uh, we had to play our best basketball today to come away with a win. If you have a question, please raise your hand, and please remember to identify your, with your name and your affiliation. We'll take questions for the player. Aaron Blue from HawkeyeSports.com. Um, Karen, you were on fire tonight. How did it feel out there, and uh, um, how do you uh, take that momentum coming into uh, coming into the next game? Yeah, I mean, it obviously felt great to play on Iowa's court. Um, shots were falling for me tonight, and my teammates kept finding me. And uh, I always say it's a credit to them drawing so much attention in the paint with Janelle and Brona always drawing so much attention w whichever game we play. And uh, so it's a credit to them. And obviously, it's a great game. Um, but it's time to turn around, and uh, we have another game to play. So we have a new game plan to um, start figuring out. And uh, we're looking forward to playing and having an opportunity to keep playing. Front row here. Tyler Tashman with the uh, Des Moines Register. Just wondering what your expectations are for what the atmosphere will be like against Iowa <laughs> and just kind of what you know about them and what you expect. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone's really looking forward to it. Um, we have been trying to talk about it because we were focused on our game against UT Martin today, and uh, that was our main focus. But obviously, uh, we've heard that it's going to be sold out, and there's going to be a lot of attention. It's probably the biggest stage we'll ever play in, and it's super exciting, and I think everybody's really looking forward to it. Yeah. Aaron? Uh, Aaron Blue again. Uh, Coach mentioned the defense. Um, you can look at shooting numbers, what are really impressive, but... 16 to 61 from the field for UT Martin. Uh, it seemed like you guys were really locked in on the defensive side. Yeah, I mean, that's been our identity the whole year. Um, I think going into this game, that was what we were focusing on. It's, it's great when shots are falling for us, but um, I think holding a team to 45 points a game is um, something that we do well. And um, usually when we do that, um, we're able to pull out a win. Um, but uh, our credit to our coaches for having a great scout. Um, I think we really were locked in and uh, were able to execute that game plan. Further questions? Tyler? Front row. Tyler Tashman, Des Moines Register. I'm just wondering with, um, if you could describe with your coach that's sitting next to you. What, what makes her good at what she does? Just, I mean, what do you enjoy about playing for her? Yeah, I mean, she's obviously a great coach, and I think um, something special about our team is that family atmosphere, and I feel like it all stems from Coach Mags, and uh, I mean, we're all so close to her. She's so easy to get along with, and I think um, just having that close environment with all our coaches is really important, and I feel like she's what 
she's what um, we all look forward to um, before games. And I feel like uh, the postseason and this game especially, she really got us excited and really motivated us. And I think that's really special. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, Kara. You can you go. You're Good dismissed. Job, awesome. <laughs> All right. Qu questions for Coach McGarity. Please raise your hand. Aaron Blue, uh, Coach, you mentioned the defensive effort. Just from, from your view, uh, what made the defensive effort so special tonight? Yeah, I just thought we really did a nice job on our doubles. And um, I think I mentioned earlier uh, a couple days ago, you know, I think our last couple games leading up to this in the Patriot League uh, tournament, we had a double, some really talented bigs in our conference, and we did a tremendous job of, of just limiting touches and points in the paint. Um, so that was obviously a, a huge, you know, key to our game plan, um, keeping them off the glass and, and really hoping to kind of wear them down with that. Um, and then our pace, you know, like, I mean, once we got the rebounds, we were able to push in transition. Um, but I just think everybody really stepped up, you know, one through five. And obviously, it was an amazing day that I could play everybody. You know, that doesn't happen very often. Um, so I, I thought even, you know, off the bench and some of our younger players that haven't really gotten a lot of minutes, they really stuck to the game plan as well. Our next question here in the front row. Tyler Tashman, um, just looking through, I guess, your guys' season, it's like you won nine in a row. You also had lost four in a row. Could you just kind of go through basically, you know, how this season has been for you and what's led to getting to this point? Yeah, it's it's definitely been a, a season of a lot of ups and downs for sure. But, um, you know, we, we won last year. Um, so we, we were picked preseason number one, so we had the target on our back. And I think our league this year had a tremendous amount of parity. So we played a really tough non-conference schedule that helped prepare us for the league. Um, and then took a little dip there, you know, when we lost four games. Uh, our scoring really, we just were in a little bit of a drought. You know, our offense really wasn't flowing. Um, but all the credit goes to the players. I mean, you see we have four seniors that are so invested in this program and um, never put their heads down, never pointed fingers. Um, it was really just a testament to, to their leadership, and we were able to obviously play our best basketball when it mattered the most. Go ahead, Aaron. Coach, you mentioned uh, yesterday about, you know, first time on a charter and the, the, the joy of playing in a tournament and and uh, you can see the smiles afterwards and, and the experience of this. Uh, what's, what's that mean for, for you as a coach to see players being able to get everybody in, see the enjoyment and, and uh, just the experience so far here uh, with that first win? Yeah, you know, I think um, we had the experience last year where I got had the opportunity to play everyone, but it was a little bit of a different uh, situation, <laughs> different score. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just to have this this joy keep coming and – um, to have an, another, another opportunity to play with, with these girls again, and they're, they really are truly family and the best of friends. Um, it just, it was, it was amazing to see. You know, I think going to this game, honestly, I never thought, oh, how am I going to be able to get everybody in? You know, I thought I, just the way we shot the ball, um, just how much fun they had, and how they were just playing for each other, um, just made is continuing to make this trip that much more special. Go back to the front row. <clears throat> it's uh, it's not easy to prepare for Caitlin Clark when you have like a week or two weeks. You guys have to do it on a quick turnaround. Just how do you try to do that to the best of your ability? Yeah, it's a great question. <laughs> um, you know, I think our players have watched a lot of Caitlin Clark, and obviously we have all the respect in the world for her and what she's done for uh, for the game, you know, basketball, not only just women's basketball. So um, obviously we have to try to limit her touches, but, you know, it's it's one of those – she's just one of those one, you know, one in a million type of players that even if you do that, she's – one of the best passers that I've ever seen as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's a lot about Caitlin, but obviously they, they, they are the team they are because of all the people she can pass to, too. So, um, you know, defensively, we know who we are. We just have to go out there and, and play the way that we know how to play. And it just has, we just have to show up with confidence. I think with the senior class, it's the one thing that I've never had to worry about. They're very confident. We've been here before. We played Maryland last year. That place was rocking, too. Uh, and, and we fought. We, you know, we have to fight and try to figure out, you know, ways uh, 
to just get possessions and um, we'll, you know, there's no doubt in my mind we'll, we'll be prepared and um, this team is ready and uh, it's going to be an amazing experience. Um, and I think just to have the opportunity to play on Saturday, I think is obviously a, a dream come true for all of us. Time for one more question. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we are joined by uh, head coach Kevin McMillan and Kenlin McCarn. Reminder, please uh, make sure your cell phones are silenced. No, no cell phone video, flash photography, or video cameras allowed in the press conferences. And if you want to access the press conference video afterwards, you can do so at the NCAA digital workroom. When you have a question, please make sure to raise your hand so we can get the microphone to you. Please identify yourself by name and affiliation. We'll start off with the opening comments from Coach, and then we'll go to questions for the player. Go ahead, Coach. Uh, yeah, I was worried about their, uh, their seniors and, uh, and their system and, uh, because I watched them, and they were really good, and I enjoyed watching them execute. Um, what I wasn't, and uh, their coach was funny talking about it after the game. We weren't quite expecting Care to go seven for ten from three, uh, and then uh, uh, Flanagan to go two for three. And we we played we actually played a really good first quarter. We made three mistakes and they hit threes on all three of them. Uh, but what I saw out of our kids and those of you that know in our season. Um, we, we looked like we looked at when we played the last game of our season. Uh, we looked a step slow. We looked a little tired. And, uh, and I thought they took advantage of it. And, uh, and they, played, they played better than we did. Uh, they're, they're, a good, they're a good team. Thank you, Coach. Questions for Kenley? Blake Salen, WPSD. Kenley? You guys seemed a little bit out of sync. How much did that kind of come down to maybe just the moment? Obviously, there's a lot of youth on this team. Do you guys feel like, you know, some of the inexperience and youth maybe caught up with you today? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a big deal being here, and we're not used to that, and we are very young. But, I mean, overall, I think it's more that we haven't played in a week and a half, and so that kind of set us back a little bit. But, um I mean, yeah, definitely being young had a factor in that and being on such a big stage, for sure. Other questions? Uh, Aaron Blue from HawkeyeSports.com. Um, their defensive effort uh, seemed to be pretty ratcheted up. Um, can you just describe what it felt like uh, defensively out there, um, offensively for you, with their defensive effort and, and what they brought on that side of the court? Um, their defense was very good, very physical. Um, I mean, they were guarding the shooters and sinking off the people that they felt wasn't a threat. I mean, they played it very smart, did what they were supposed to do. Um, it was it was pretty difficult to get shots off and find open people, for sure. Other questions? Kenley, obviously it's frustrating to lose, but you know, for you guys, I'm guessing there's a silver lining in knowing that you know there's a lot of time left with this roster. What's the biggest maybe takeaway from this game? There's um, no silver lining with Kenley McCarn. <laughs> it's really hard for me to have a silver if lining. If you know Kenley McCarn, there's no silver lining. <laughs> um, 
uh, yeah, we are very young. We definitely plan on being back. Um, but I think the biggest takeaway um, that we need to take is um, we're not where we need to be for this level of basketball. Um, and that starts in the summer. So I'm hoping that we see that and start in the summer, we go to work. And instead of just preparing for our conference and those types of games that we look to the, the bigger picture and focus on all the little things that we need to be good at this level. You know they're taping this. Yeah. Okay. Right. Other questions for Kenley? All right. Thank you, Kenley. Appreciate your time. Can You're dismissed. Right, yeah. awesome. You can leave. Now I won't talk about you. Yeah. Okay, we'll take questions for Coach. Kevin, do these games just kind of show how important experience is in the month of March? Well, I think Kenley, Kenley and I were talking about it out there. Um, we we were in the first quarter. There there were. They were solid and they were good defensively, you know. But they played a game uh, last Saturday, and I really thought we were as out of sync as I'd seen us. Um, and I think having this big break didn't. I thought it was going to help us because we're so injured. Um, but watching us out there, we were making decisions that we hadn't made since back in like mid January. Uh, the ball wasn't moving like it had, so. I think that was my fault with our kids that we probably should have done something because our tournament, we're the first tournament that ends. Uh, so we literally hadn't played in 13 days and, and we just, we looked at, we just looked like we did back in January and I wish we had looked like we looked in that tournament because we were playing really, really well. Uh, I think the, the numbers, of course, uh, got to us. And so when you, when you add that up, then is when I think the experience is, it killed us because we didn't have a senior or a junior out there that said, hey, let me get us through this little stretch and we'll get going. Uh, but I just, I thought most of it was me having them out of sync and, and looking like we were a step slow. Aaron? It's easy to see the, the, the fire in Kenley there. What does... What, what does she bring for the future of your program, and, and how excited are you, are you to have her that have that experience that, that she just had tonight? Well, what you don't know about Kenley is this is the first year since she was a eighth grader that she lost her last game. For first time since she was an eighth grader that she lost her last game. So she doesn't know how to handle this, which for me is awesome, uh, because she will, she will vow to be back here uh, and, and, and we're, you know, listening to the starting lineups, I just heard senior, 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 senior. And then for us, it was freshman, sophomore, freshman, sophomore, freshman. And the, the kids that we have hurt, ironically, are freshman, freshman, uh, junior, and junior. So, you know, can we, can we use this to catapult and do? We've done it before. Uh, we came here and started four freshmen the first year we ever got here. Uh, and we parlayed that into four appearances and a chance to, to win that by the time those guys got some, some maturity. Uh, you'd, you'd like to see these kids get back. Um, you'd like to see her get back. And I'd like to see her healthy uh, because she's a, she's a special one and she showed it in the tournament, in the, in the OVC tournament. Uh, but tonight, again, we looked, we looked a step slow and we looked like we weren't quite there. But, you know, if they use this as a springboard, I think we could be really good next two or three years. Is it hard to be upset after a game like this when you kind of realize and look back on what you guys have gone through and, and, and kind of treat it all as almost icing on the cake? Well, for me or for them? For you. Um, for me, I, I'm not upset. Uh, I, I'm. I'm up, well, let's, let me say that differently. I'm upset that the girls are upset. I'm upset that they feel like they did not play the way they are capable of. I'm upset about that for them. For me, uh, when you ask kids to play out of position and you ask kids to play 38 minutes all year long and you ask kids to play when they're hurt, I mean, how can I possibly be upset? 
You know, every time I've asked them to do something, they've done it. They've, they've continually raised the bar. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't be upset at them. I can't be disappointed. I can't be more proud of a team of kids that as freshmen and sophomores, I mean, we've got MRIs set up for these guys as soon as we get home. And I'm not talking about one. Uh, and for them to play and give everything they've got for their teammates and for, the, for our university, I can't be more, more proud of them. And there's nothing that they could do that wouldn't. They're just great ambassadors. They're, they're thanking the, uh, the custodians in the, the hotels. You know, they're unloading stuff for people. I mean, they're just great, a great group of kids. And, I, you know, I'm proud to be associated with them. Um, but I'm, I'm upset for them. But for me, when you ask them to do those things, I mean, it hurts me to know how hurt they are, and I still ask them to go out there and play. I feel awful. So, actually, I'm probably relieved for me because I don't have to put them back out there uh, because they would go back out and do it, do whatever you ask them to do. Just an unusual group in this day and age. It's not about me, 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 me. What's the excitement level for you and for the girls, uh, just knowing what you have coming back with this team? I, you know, I think for a while they're going to be disappointed. Um, I think at some point it'll sink in what they were allowed to do uh, or, or what they were uh, able to do this year. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what they're going to do with it. You know, today, in today's day and age, you know, who knows what these kids are thinking. Um, I, I think – that they're going to try to use it as a springboard. Um, is that what you asked me? Okay. Um, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, I know that one will be upset for a little while, and she'll hold it over my head for a long time uh, because that's just how she is. Uh, but she also has the ability to galvanize that whole team. And uh, if, they, if they jump on the Kinley McCarn bandwagon, you know, I'm, I would never bet against that kid, especially if we get her healthy and get everybody else back. Any further questions? All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, everyone.